Good morning, everyone. This is Amy with Angel from the 100 plus Abandoned Dogs of Everglades, Florida Rescue House. Just jumping on really quick to wish everyone a very, very happy and safe Thanksgiving. What, well, Mama? Hi. Hi, Boo Boo. Angel, come over here. Come sit here. You sit? Lay down. Sit. Good girl. Good girl, Mama. Say hi, everybody. Say happy Thanksgiving. Angel, this beautiful, beautiful girl is waiting and looking for her forever home. Good morning, Jody. Good morning, Stacy. Good morning, Brandy. Hi, Jamie Edwards. Hello, Lori. Good morning and happy Thanksgiving. Hi, Leslie. <clears throat> happy Thanksgiving, Noel. Bonjour. You're welcome, Stacy. I know what you are referring to. Everyone, um, I got a great, great update. I recently was talking about one of our rescue dogs that we rescued three years ago, um, Dixie. So a really quick update and recap so you all know what I'm talking about. Angel, do you want to sit down? Huh? Good girl. Good girl. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Just rolling out of bed with Angel. Uh, been up early this morning, 7 a.m. Uh, I slept here last night. I came by and just crashed with the dogs and basically took everybody out. So sorry, haven't been home yet uh, to shower, which I'm heading home shortly. But I just wanted to say you're welcome, Jody. You're welcome. Um, three years ago, my organization rescued uh, a litter of puppies from the Hialeah train tracks in Miami and one of the puppies named Dixie was adopted three years ago with her wonderful mommy Lisa Hoffman and husband um, just last week a little bit before we saw a post on Facebook where Lisa posted a picture of Dixie stating she had taken her to her doctor at the Banfield and was diagnosed and she was in complete kidney failure um, hadn't eaten in four days and told her to take her home and she didn't really have much time so to just enjoy her uh, with that being said we immediately reached out to her um, and spoke to Lisa about Dixie because we were truly concerned we asked her if she would take her to Coral Springs Animal Hospital and she unfortunately did not have the funds thousands and thousands of dollars just to walk in the door so we opted and offered um, to pay for the treatment because it is our rescue dog for life uh, Stacy Tierney, our wonderful friend and volunteer, uh, offered to assist. She then picked up Lisa and our dog Dixie and took her to Coral Springs Animal Hospital. She has been there. We have spent uh, 20, 37, 3800 so far. And I have the most amazing news. While I was here at the rescue house, I received the call from the doctor. She was diagnosed with Addison's disease, which is very treatable. Uh, they started her on a steroid, oral, an oral steroid, and she will receive a shot. It's a hormone replacement. She, her body's not producing the hormones. So she will get one shot once a month for the rest of her life. She'll be on one pill of steroids, and she's going home today. Uh, her mommy is picking her up at noon today, and Dixie is happy, and I'm so choked up. <coughs> Excuse me. She is so happy and tail wags and she's eating and Dixie's going to have a wonderful life. So everybody, thank you for your prayers. Um, this is who we are and what we do. Once we touch a dog and we rescue that dog, we are here for life. Dixie, we love you. Lisa, we love you. Um, thank you for accepting our help. I know that it was tough for you and please don't feel as though you are not the best mommy in the world because I can tell you the majority of people do not have thousands of dollars um, and some people don't have credit to apply for care credit. So with that being said, um, our Dixie is going to be released from Coral Springs Animal Hospital today and she will be going home with her mommy. Uh, actually, Lisa had a, a trip planned with her family, a reunion, and she told me she decided to stay behind. The whole family left and went. She's home by herself and she's gonna spend her day um, picking up her baby and getting her home. So thank you, God, for all our blessings. Um, great news. So that's Dixie. <clears throat> and I want to say I am here with my beautiful angel. I slept here last evening. We had the best sleep. We had the best cuddles. I 
got all the dogs out. Um, I, I want to also update all of you while I'm posting. Angel, want to go outside? Come on. Uh, Brownie and Chip, I got updates all night and morning from their mommy Lyrica, and and they are doing freaking fantastic. She is so in love. She is obsessed as she should be. But Brownie and Chip are doing awesome, awesome. They're so happy. Cuddles and walks, and they're just enjoying every single minute. So that's our update on Brownie and Chip. Um, I want to say a huge thank you, huge thank you to um, <clears throat> Pam, Rob, Debbie Harrington, Christy Mulligan, Darla, all those wonderful volunteers that came here this morning, my wife Carol. We have been here since they came at 7 a.m., um, got all the dogs out, we got them walks, we got them playtime, car rides. Um, and Debbie is going to be spending the day here at the rescue house. I will be leaving here shortly, heading home, taking a shower, and then heading to up to uh, Delray Beach to spend time with our family to have a little Thanksgiving uh, dinner. And then I will be back here at the rescue house approximately about 9, 10 o'clock um, to get the dogs out again. And we'll see what happens if I spend the night or not. But um I just want to say happy Thanksgiving to all of you. Um, Kendra is here. Kendra did great overnight. Um, the English Bulldog that we took in uh, six, seven weeks ago, eight weeks ago, and she was finally came to our rescue house. Come on, Mama. Come on, Mommy. I want you to play. Come on. Come on, Mama. Come on. It's Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving. Go get the ball, Mama. Get it, get it. You don't want to play with me? You don't want to play with me? How about this? I know what you like. Come here. Come here. I know what you like. Watch. Come on. Ready? Come on. Up, up. Come on. Come on. Up. Let's go. There you go. So I'm sitting outside <laughs> in the backyard. Say hi to all the people. And she jumps right up on my lap and sits on my lap. And she loves to cuddle. So she thinks she's a lap dog. Yeah. She thinks she's a lap dog. And this is our Thanksgiving wish to all of you to have a wonderful, safe, happy Thanksgiving. And we love you and appreciate you beyond words. I hope you are all doing something wonderful and special today. Just remember to just spend time around people that you love and care about and love you back. Um, <clears throat> good girl, Mommy. We have a lot of good stuff coming. Uh, tomorrow we have... Uh, the doggy door going in for Albert. Um, we also have um, the gate that's going up over there, so it'll be nice and secure. And then Monday morning at 9 o'clock, all of this junk is going to be beautiful, beautiful. Hold on. This is our new grass that we are getting, this beautiful um, AstroTurf, thanks to Carrie and Stacy, Glory's mommy who have kindly, I can't even, I don't even know what to say, but they have donated the entire, this all this, this yard is going to be AstroTurf with proper drain and it's gonna be beautiful. Um, so this is going to be our new grass out here. This is coming in on Monday morning. We are very excited. Are you excited, Mama? Are you excited? You get all these good things to look forward to. <clears throat> No, Sandra, I've not had anybody offer um, no interest in this beautiful girl. And let me tell you something. She is so amazing. She's been so fantastic with all our volunteers. Everybody's been coming out, and she's just been so great. Um, I'm begging all of you to please share because she needs a home so desperately, so, so, so desperately, or even a loving foster home. Please share and please consider fostering. Um, she will love you like no other. You cannot ask. Come up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Show them how you do it. Come on, one more time. Come on. Up. <laughs> and this is it. This is it. This is our wish to all of you. Happy Thanksgiving from myself, Amy, and Angel, and all of our team here at 100 Plus, because without you, none of this would be possible none of it so we'll we'll see you again later if not tonight um we'll probably just kind of take a break today and we'll be back tomorrow
Um, but everybody be safe wherever you're going be safe and enjoy your beautiful holiday with your friends your family whatever you're doing we love you I'm gonna sign off <laughs>